So I didn't work out for this. I'm trying this new thing where I just close my eyes and think. And remember that women are freaking beautiful and there's no beauty expectation or scare that we could ever not meet that could ever take that away from us. I stole really expensive and pretty bikinis for a steaming price from some rich person's closet. I mean, bikinis are the most heavily priced piece of clothing I have ever seen. This little triangle, 80 to 100 dollars. And if I have this, 200. So there's really no way to avoid the sewing machine and the creativity. So I like quick little montages in between to show you how to thrift. Which I don't have, but I have an Instagram with reels. If you want hacks and fashion ideas really quickly, you know where to find me. Okay, if you don't. But this is my grand. You guys, I'm in love. The colors, the style. And it's vintage. This one I got recently, second hand. Well, sort of. I had tags, red up, which is strictly thrifted. As well as this new secret second-hand place that I just, oh, I can't, you guys. Okay, so it's called Object Limited. It's only an app. It's a freaking amazing app that I freaking love it. It's my number one favorite place to shop at the moment. Second-hand, it's vintage, it's affordable, and just... So pretty much the only good thing that's happened in 2020. R.O.P. everything good. I adore the print almost. The colors are so vibrant and so pretty. Combined with this ridiculous, gorgeous crunch up situation, the elegant cut for the boobies. And it still works with today's trends because it rides up a little flirty on the sides and down on the back. And for a smoking $30. And I match it with a scarf. So we just dive completely into the vintage pastel trend and vibe. I know what you're thinking. Why do I keep buying oversized swimsuits from the internet? Obviously, I'm turning it into something cuter. One, because it's more fabric than what I've ever done. Two, because it's good for the environment. You know, she houses us, she feeds us, she gives us beautiful sunsets and a handsome lover, and sometimes you just gotta, just gotta get back, you know? Anyway. I'd just like to kindly ask you right now to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do with that transition. And I'm aware I'm asking you to subscribe to my channel while I'm wearing an oversized swimsuit, but it's gonna be good, you know? Right? 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 See? If you like that transformation, let me know in the comments down below. I like seeing actual things happen on my channel because sometimes I feel like I'm just a loser standing in front of a camera talking to no one. This one was really cute. But also really cool. This I got for $15, and because it looked simple, I made it up. I like this part. This really interesting tied around the waist thing that does not look like a diaper. I'm aware of the trends right now where the bikini is so groovy. It's got its own belt, but this is kind of more effortless. And I definitely admit that there is work that needs to be done on the bottoms. I just got so tired. And I chuck some flip-flops with it and a cute hat, because I'm pretty sure the earth is getting hotter out there possibly be global warming. Scientists are always wrong. This is my next swimsuit. The sort of swimsuit some of you guys won't like because it does not match or look cute for that matter or fit for that matter or look good or have any potential to look good. But I'm just gonna cut straight to it guys. I trimmed it in, used excess fabric. Not so bad. I did some matching for those of you out there that would like and I tightened it up and did something really funky with this triangle top. Here's a little tip, guys. If you're sick of your triangle bikinis, welcome to a tutorial. This is a boring triangle bikini. Take it off, tie a knot. Then tie knots. You know how to do it, and now it's not. But anyway, it's a simple do. You've got some light colors, you have some green for the season, some crisscrossy magic, and it all ties together like an actual outfit. Just got to add some shoes, a blouse, and yep, ready to go tan. <laughs> One eternity later. I'm back! So the last three outfits, I wouldn't say a I bought them, I thought they were cute and affordable. They were really great 
option alternatives for the really expensive brands that we couldn't afford and they were from Target. And to be honest, this video kind of needs a little bit more meat. Hopefully, if you like any of these last swimsuits, you'll find them on the cheaper side at Freda or any second hand store. I've linked a bunch of great stores down below in the description box. Or alternatively, I have added links down below for some other brands that do the eco-friendly sustainable thing, but they are the usual swimsuit price, but good for the environment. Okay! Here's this little bugger. I think it was $30 and it's comfortable. I can wear these straight after a massive meal while I am like loaded and on my period, but still feel comfortable. Walking to the pool, ready to lie there <laughs> like a beached whale. So I do suggest swimwears that are high waisted for comfort and have thicker, maybe textured fabric like this one, which I know is a little racy. You've probably seen it a couple of times on Inamorata. Nope. Inamorata. Nope. Inamorata. It looks a little bit like that brand, but I just felt like this was such a bargain at the time. And full black pieces are so slendering. Anyone else think that? So it's got this cool back situation and at the front it's got a little bow. I can tell that this is cheap because the ratios are like all wrong. The boobs are kind of suffocating right now and down here it's like really thin. Oh yeah, no. So I sort of sacrifice comes on this one. Um, um, um. So thank you guys for watching this video. And yes, I see this disaster that is behind me. This is what you guys are supposed to see. This prettiness that is over here. And over here is a wreck that makes the prettiness. If you guys like this video, you should like it. <laughs> if you guys didn't like this video, then thumbs down it. I just want to let you guys know that every like, every comment really helps grow my channel. So thank you. It makes me pretty happy. Which is funnily how I'm trying to feel at the moment. So I appreciate any and all of your support and I will be back next Friday at 9am. Either a styling video or a thrift flip video. Let me know down below guys if you have any video requests and I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.